member in many ministry. La viewers watching me in all over the world. You go to church, many ministry, you are rendering help for the people you are rendering help for those you are helping. Is it for selfish interests? The selfish interest is what you want when I help you. I'm giving you, okay, this water. Look at it. I'm giving you. My purpose of giving you now by, that is the little deliberate sinner. I'm giving you this. I'm expecting you to give me contract in the future. That is human. Reward of, in this world. We are not looking at the reward in heaven by given reward in heaven says i give you jesus name i'm not expecting anything from you whether you abuse me later i don't care because i'm not expecting reward from you whether you greet me tomorrow i don't care because i'm not expecting reward from you whether you do anything to me tomorrow i don't care because i'm not expecting reward from you who will reward me is Heavenly Father. But the help we render today, we observe. Ah, this man is, uh, is very educated. He can help my company. He will not use in the name. We are a Christian. We are a Christian. Let me help. That is to deliberate sinner. You observe the outward appearance. What will you gain? In the future from Papa. If you have nothing to gain, no help. and bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. For what he has done for you and what he's about to do for you. What he has done for us and what he's about to do for us. Bless his holy name. He has many blessings in store for you. Bless his name for that. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Don't mind the hardship in the world. Don't mind the troubles in the world. Don't mind the predicament in the world. Bless his holy name. In Jesus Christ's name we thank. Now surrender your heart to Jesus. Tell Jesus you are ready to surrender. To surrender means any burden you are carrying in your heart, drop it. Burden of unforgiveness, drop it. Burden of pain of the past, drop it. You was whatever burden in your heart. Burden of unforgiveness, drop it. Burden of pain of the past, drop it. That is the business to surrender to Jesus. Not to just uh, waving our hands on the outside. But the burden of unforgiveness, we must drop it. In Jesus Christ's name. Say thank you, Jesus. For giving me the grace to forgive everyone. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I, have no I have no pain in my heart, in my heart. Anymore. anymore because, because I, surrender I surrender to Jesus. To Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, you may be seated in his presence. Make sure you are sitting, you are meditating in Jesus' name. You are sitting. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I will not take much of your time. I know they played the message of uh, last Sunday. And uh, every one of us were saying our weak area. Viewers, I know you listen to the message. That is all about his kingdom. That is what Jesus sent every one of us holding preaching. All about his kingdom. When Jesus sent his disciples, he said, go and proclaim his kingdom. He never said, proclaim breakthrough, prosperity. He said, you go and do what? Isn't that what we read about? But what are we proclaiming today? <laughs> yeah? That is what Jesus said. Read your Bible. The same way he sent it in 72, the instruction given to them, proclaim the kingdom of God. That is what he sent us for. So, if you now see yourself in another track, you can still come back because you are still living in the world. His kingdom first. Others can follow. Because here is not our home. Hmm? Just as I told you that this world is a screening machine. God is screening every one of us. The world is screen is screening every one of us to know your real self. Is your real self that will go to the kingdom? So if you are not genuine, you go to where you are not genuine. Hmm? The place you are not genuine is fire. Hmm? That is where you are not genuine. But where your real self is genuine, kingdom of God. So every one of us, we are going through screening. Many of you see people preaching, putting us in the position of perfection. No. You're looking at us in the position of perfection, you are committing sin. We are human. Say, it's Father. We only have one Father. Jesus, spiritual Father. Heavenly Father. Read your Bible. We are heavenly Father. You say spiritual. Who is in the position of spiritual? Is it not God? Can I be in the position of spiritual? So, let me go to... The message we talked about, because it's like I'm going, I'm going, just going. Anytime I carry my goal, just, mm. So I should not forget the, this message. Deliberate Shina. We talked about part one last Sunday. And I said, by the grace of God, we continue because of time. So we listen to the part two today by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Yes. So open your Bibles to the book of John 12. I will start my reading from 1. Because of time, I will end it to 6. But you can read it from 1 to 10 for better understanding. Are you there? There was, are you there? Yes. Yeah, I can hear your voice. In the spirit, I can hear your voice. Hmm. I read, six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here, a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took 
about half a liter of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? Hmm. It was worth a year's wages. Verse 6. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. So is you ready from that seven? to 10 there for better understanding because of time because I know the weather I have to summarize it if God allows us to reveal more we will continue that is last time we we'll talk about the lesson we learned from, uh, from David others what lesson now can we learn from Judas Iscariot there? When honor was given to Jesus, pouring the perfume, way of honoring him, Judas objected, stood against. So, this perfume is very expensive. Why can't we sell this and use it to help the poor? That is by him on the outside. He did not say it as it is written there, to save soul. Say, let's save the souls of the poor. He said it for selfish interests. Selfish what? Selfish interests. You want to gain something to please the flesh. You want to get something to enjoy in the world. You want to get something to live in this world. Not to help to the kingdom of God. Now, let's now Related to our life. The help you render in many ministry, like you was watching me all over the world. You go to church, many ministry, you are rendering help for the people. You are rendering help for those you are helping. Is it for selfish interest? The selfish interest is what you want when I help you. I'm giving you, okay, this water. Look at it. I'm giving you. My purpose of giving you now by that is to deliberate sinner. I'm giving you this. I'm expecting you to give me a contract in the future. That is 
human. Reward of in this world. We are not looking at the reward in the heaven by given. Reward in the heaven says, I give you Jesus' name. I'm not expecting anything from you. Whether you abuse me later, I don't care because I'm not expecting reward from you. Whether you greet me tomorrow, I don't care because I'm not expecting reward from you. Whether you do anything to me tomorrow, I don't care because I'm not expecting reward from you. Who will reward me is Heavenly Father. But the help we render today, we observe. Ah, this man is, uh, is very educated. He can help my company. He will not use in the name. We are a Christian. We are a Christian. Let me help. That is to deliberate sinner. You observe the outward appearance. What will you gain in the future from Baba? If you have nothing to gain, no help. But if there's something to gain, that is when I'll be running after you to help you. Such help. No heavenly reward. No what? Because I'm expecting reward from you. Something I will use to live in this world. It's what you selfish interest. Deliberate sinners always expect something each time they are given. Oh, this guy is young. I know if I help him, he will help my children. That is selfish interest. Oh, he's educated. I know if I help him, he will teach my children. Selfish interest. Oh, let me help him because it's related to me. I know since it's related to me, he will help me in the future. Selfish interest. What we think about today before giving is selfish interest. Every one of us, we human, including me talking. You know, every time I'm talking, you always put me in the position of a, I'm perfect. I'm not. The same way you listen to it, the same way after listening to the message, I watch it and say, oh my God, God, give me the grace to do the right. But when you say, hey, hey this man, he's perfect. He's, if you are saying that, you are committing sin. Jesus will judge you. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you the truth. Because that's what I'm saying. Say, hey, you want me to stop talking? Jesus will judge you. Don't buy me. Never you put me in the position. Say, oh, this man, see the way this message is coming out from him. Oh, he's perfect. Oh, he knows the message. He's practicing. No. You are making a mistake. I'm human. You are human. The only difference is that the grace is the message God gave me. After talking, he revealed to me, I'll say, God, give me the grace to practicalize it. The same way you pray that God give you the grace to practicalize the message. The same way I, Daniel, pray for the grace. So, selfish interest should be excluded in your giving. <laughs> Tell me, selfish interest should be excluded in your giving. Mm. My family member will speak the same language. It related to me. If I don't help you, you will help my children in the future. Ask yourself, who we'll help you? There are many destined to many of us who, because of selfish interest, lost them. 
God sent them to your life. That through them, they will become great. And you now say, oh, this one is related to me. There are many of us in the company, before employing somebody, you say, your name is who? Your name is who? Prince Akutu. Okay, you are from which region? I'm from Vuta region. Oh, from Vuta region. Oh, and I'm from Great Accra. Uh, okay, you come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you will not go to this one. Now. Yeah, you will not say you are from Great Accra now. Your name is what? Prosper. From where? I'm from Great Accra. Okay, I'm from Great Accra. Okay, you, wait, you sit and wait for me. Okay. And you, you, tomorrow you see me. <laughs> is it? That is what we've been company. But the health who asks where are you coming from? Uh, which region? Uh, which country? Hmm, which year it is? That is selfish interest. You are looking for selfish interest. That is the reason of asking those questions. <laughs> I say today be delivered from this spirit of selfish interest in the name of Jesus. I said today, be delivered from the spirit of selfish interest in the name of Jesus. Come on, stand up, stand up and decree this in your life. It's the problem of every one of us, including me talking, everyone. I'm among, you are among. Are you not among? Selfish interest. None of us can say here, yeah, I'm not guilty. If you are not guilty, you raise up your hand. Guys, every one of us, when we want to help, where are you coming from? Some, they know the language. You speak more of the language to discover that, oh, this person is not really my language person. Once you discover that, say, oh, come back tomorrow, no help. You don't know that somebody you will not have anything to gain. I gave him the water. I have nothing to gain. Take. In the name of Jesus. That is heaven rejoices over that. But the one that uh, from where Observing what you will get in the future, no heavenly reward for you. The reward you will get is earthly reward, which is temporal for some time. Sometimes means, oh, your eyes will close. And those of us who share with people in a high position, if they are not trying to do the right thing, you say, look at this man, he's only helping an outsider, he's not helping family. Outsider, outsider, he's not helping family. You that is saying is not helping family. How many people have you helped? You are in a high position. They are looking at you. There is no way in the family you have not helped someone. But you are not helping them enough. Dear, many of them will be gossiping. You see? Because he's a, he's a president. How many family has he helped? He has not helped us. All of us, we are suffering. Are you telling me that you, you have not eaten any of his money? And you that is talking, condemning someone in a high position. How many people have you helped? I mean, help for Christ's sake. Many not because of this reason. Not to do what God has positioned your heart to do. So I don't want my family to say, I've not helped anybody in the family. I don't want that. You will not continue to pump help on everyone in the family, whereas there are many people God sent to you outside. All will be silenced. Only family, family will carry in your head. This family you are talking about, in heaven, it's not in heaven. The family that is a biological father, it's not in heaven. God, our heavenly father, we are all brothers and sisters in the kingdom of God. That is how it is in heaven. But the way we read that, oh, is it my biological father, my biological brother, my biological sister, is it, is it, hey, I must die for you. I must do that for you. All this thing is 
here on earth. We say, Uncle, Father, biological father, heaven. Heaven is not aware of all these things we are calling. You listen to what Jesus said when the mother and father were looking for him. Ah, we are looking for our son. Now went to Jesus. Your father and your mother is looking for you. Who are my father? Who are my mother? Those who obey the word of God, they are my brothers and my sisters. That is the position Jesus wants every one of us to be. Today, because of what they advise us in a traditional way, we follow tradition. Why? Because uh, they, they are, uh, my blood, Father, my blood is advised me. Judgment day. Jesus will never blame biological father, say because of that entire kingdom of God. Did you do it? Yes. Go to hell. Simple. That is the judgment. The judgment is between you and God. Even me, I will not be there. You that listen to me, I will not be there. The only grace is when we are in the kingdom of God, every one of us will know that we will gather here today. Once we get to the kingdom, we will remember this day. God those worshiping all over the world will remember this day. This day you are worshiping. From there, you will be looking at those in hell. Damn. Transparent. Be looking at them, crying. Some of them without legs. Some of them without eye. Just different thing. Agony. Can see how deliberate sinner handle giving, happy. I said today. Lord Jesus, deliver all from the spirit of selfish interest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, deliver all from the spirit of selfish interest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, deliver all from the spirit of selfish interest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, deliver all from the spirit of selfish interest in the name of Jesus. None of us offer this prayer. No way. I've not heard it offer this prayer since I've been watching. But it's a serious problem to us. <laughs> you remember, whatever you do or fail to do to the brothers and sisters, that you do unto? Did you say whatever you do to your biological father? Your biological mother? Brothers and sisters? That is to tell you, we, Christians, we are brothers, sisters. <laughs> are you getting what I'm talking about? What, what can you say about it? Um, thank you very much for this message. What I learned is that we should give because of the kingdom's sake. Thank you. Not because of our selfish interest. That is it. Can you clap for Jesus? That is your seat. He given to this biological father, mother, mother, mother. We are not saying don't give them. Give them. But don't forget those God has sent to your life. Many of them, they are on the street. Don't forget. Could be your advice. What advice do you give them? Could be you taking them to the church for deliverance. Did you do that? Because many of us believe it's also money, 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 money. There are some people on the street and I say, oh, my brother, how are you? Say, fine. Do you know that this life you are living, come, let us sit down, you're not sit somewhere. Do you know that uh, me you are looking at, I will leave this world one day. Say yes. You know you too, you, are, you leave this world one day. Say yes. Uh, why can't you change? You know, there's kingdom of God and there's hell fire. Many are waiting for you for that. And I say, hey! Okay, I want to go to church. Take me to church. You take the person to any living church. 
receive message of kingdom of God. Whether the person repent or not, your good record is in heaven. Because on the judgment day, obey that voice, that is the voice of God. You say, oh, do you know that it's true you, this person came, yes. Can you see you're in the kingdom, I, the kingdom of God? Are you not happy now? I'm happy. If you're in hellfire, you know this man talked uh, talk about the kingdom of God. Did you obey? You know what he said? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. There are no sorry anymore there. <laughs> no more sorry there. That role you must play. Whether the person change or not. The person change. Good. Don't change. Your reward is due already. You have played your vital role. Then we don't look at that. We say, oh, I may talk to him now. Ha, you will not listen to me. You are looking at you will not listen to me. He said that he's placing your hand. He will not listen. Don't talk. He will not listen. He will embarrass you. He will not listen. He will slap you. He will not listen. Now has God sent such a person to you? Assume there's something we are going to get from the person. Oh, you will see the way you will pressurize because you want to get something. You must bring the person for prayer because they selfish interest. After receiving deliverance, you put him in your company. He will help, really help you in the company because it's my relation. That's why you are taking him to many churches for deliverance because you want to employ him to your company to help you in the company. Not because of kingdom of God anymore. Value. Yeah. We are crying today because business is not booming. We are crying today because we are having marital problem. We are crying today because no money to travel. We are crying today because family problem. But how many people are crying because you don't see your way to the kingdom of God. <laughs> eh? How many of us are crying? Oh, will I make the kingdom of God? <laughs> if I ask everybody one after the other today now, what is the problem? It's how to live in this world. None will be mentioned about kingdom of God. Am I right? Speak the truth. Oh, buddy, prisoners is not for me. I need to get contract. I need to get breakthrough. All everything here on earth, here on earth, how to live here on earth, here on earth. None will be met, nothing will be mentioned. Hey, Daniel, are you sure I can make kingdom of God with this kind of my attitude? I'm waiting for somebody who will ask me such a question one day. But since I came here, in Ghana, nobody has ever asked me. Say, Daniel, the reason why I'm here to see you, because this kingdom of God you are talking about, talking about, talking about, the way I live my life, are you sure I will make kingdom of God? Nobody asked me. If you have asked me such a question, <laughs> there's up your heart. Lord, but headache. I've been having this headache for many years. My body, I don't understand. I don't understand my stomach. I don't understand my neck. I don't understand this. I don't understand that. No kingdom of God mention. But everything. How to live here on earth. And I'm, my purpose of coming here is to tell you how to live in the kingdom of God. But you continue to divert me. Push me. Daniel, talk about uh, this earth. Talk about this earth. I continue to refuse. Please, adjust your life. Tell your neighbor, adjust your life. Adjust your life. Kingdom of God is real. Hellfire is real. <laughs> this message, in fact, has delivered us. Hallelujah. Let the cherubim of healing locate you now in the name of Jesus. Cherubim of glory overshadow your life in the name of Jesus. Cherubim of breakthrough, blessings, overshadow your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Cherubim of protection, overshadow your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Overshadow your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Somebody shout in the name of Jesus. Total freedom is assured for you. Is assured for you. Is assured in your business. Is assured in your career. Is assured in your finances. Rejoice, rejoice. Total freedom is assured. Rejoice, rejoice. Total freedom is assured. 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 Like and follow us on Facebook at Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Tweet us on Twitter at jotim1 at gmail.com. TikTok at jotim1 at gmail.com. Instagram at jotim underscore one.